most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeray. All right, good morning, everybody. Great to be back with you as we kickstart a holiday weekend in Red Lion. Looking good this morning. It's quiet here. We've got just one car out and about early on a Friday morning, but it's cool out. If you're stepping outside, you may be a little bit surprised. Some of us have dropped into the 40s now. Great way to start September, isn't it? Louisville at 47. The York Airport in Thomasville at 48 degrees actually got a little cool in the house last night. 50 in Carlisle, Lancaster Country Day School at 51, 80 and 61 yesterday. It was just gorgeous and uh, slightly below the averages of 82 and 63. No rain though, and now look at our deficit. I mentioned that probably at the end of this first week of September, we would probably be close to a seven inch deficit. It's been a while since I can remember that, so we are in desperate need of rain and uh, it is not coming anytime soon. I can promise you that satellite radar picture quiet. High pressure is building in and uh, we can enjoy this nice weather. The other problem is uh, this fall like weather is not going to last either. We are going to get a summer heat blast coming our way starting Sunday. 54 in Chambersburg this morning, 57 in Harrisburg, 58 in Lebanon. Elsewhere, look at York. Thomasville Airport down to 48 degrees, and this is a significant departure from yesterday in many locations by about 5 to 10 degrees, a 13 degree drop in York. Dew points are in the 40s for most of us too. Some really dry air is in place, and the humidity will start to inch back up as we move into Labor Day and next week. But I mean, look at the uh, satellite and radar picture here across the Northeast. Let me step out of the way. I mean, it's it's dead quiet. There's really not much happening. We've got the tropics that are active, though, of course, with some clouds from uh, the hurricanes uh, out to sea there, but we are dead quiet and it's all thanks to high pressure. There's what's left of a dahlia now just an extra tropical low. We'll get into that in just a bit, but a lot of sunshine here and cool weather across the east with hot weather building in on the other side of that high, and that's what we will tap into here as we move into Monday and next week, really starting Sunday, but no need to pause precision cast today. There will be some cloud cover coming in Saturday night into early Sunday, but no rain with it. By Sunday, it clears out and we expect a very nice afternoon. So let's check the tropics again. Obviously, it's the most active time of year and we see three storms. Tropical Storm Jose now named winds at 60 miles an hour. Franklin still going strong. It's a category one storm and we've got post tropical storm Adalia sitting out in the Atlantic as well. This thing could redevelop into a tropical system here, a tropical storm uh, over the course of the next uh, week. Uh, all of the uh, time frames are bunched up there. Sorry about that. They just updated this. Sometimes that happens right during the show, but you can clearly get a sense of the track and that's going to take us through about the middle part of next week as the storm just kind of loops around itself out in the Atlantic. The extended outlook locally does show warm temperatures. Look at Sunday. We get back to 90 after a couple of seasonable, if not cooler days. And then mid 90s here, it looks like for most of next week, the humidity will be going up too. So it's actually going to be summer like next week, more so than anything that we really had in August. Uh, rain chances, though, there you have it. I don't really expect much rain until next Thursday night, but probably next Friday when a front moves through. Until then, bone dry. 78 today, sunny and gorgeous. Bottle it up. 56 tonight, clear and comfy. It looks very pleasant tonight. Tomorrow, not bad either. 84 degrees. Sunday, warming up. 90. And then next week, man, 94 degrees every day. Hot and humid. Wow. And dry. So um, get the kids' shorts out, right? <laughs> and find a swimming pool after school. I have a middle schooler. I, I don't think he owns pants. It's all shorts. It's all shorts, yeah. Well, he's going to need he, them next week. He, he told me at the beginning of the school year, I'm not wearing pants at all this year, Mom. Okay, well, we'll see about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. <laughs>